Building downtown. Building downtown. Building downtown. Hey, yo, this is Building Downtown. You can follow us on social media at The Building DT. You can follow, subscribe to the show on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts from. I'm your host, Jason Kelly. You can follow me at J. Kelly MMA. You can follow my co-host, Krill Kasatsky, at Krill Raps. You can follow my other co-host, Amy Barton, at Ames Bell. We're doing that battle rap shit again. We're back into it. KOT is kicking off another what it looks like is a tournament or some sort of things going on. And the man at the top of the card kicking off the run the fade is Times. Times, how you doing tonight, my, my man? G. Man, what's the deal, man? Killer at a dot. Yeah. What the fuck? I see you're going at everyone. It, it, it's funny, too, because it's like as soon as I heard it, I thought, oh, he's on like that 50 Sun How to Rob shit. And I saw some other people comment the same thing. So I got to yeah. ask, was that your mentality going into it? You know what? Like, if, if, if I can't get them to fight me, I'll fucking make them fight me. I'll go pick on them till they want to come look for me. What, what was the yeah. mindset going into that? What are you looking to accomplish? By going at uh fuck like seventy five percent of the KOTD roster, <laughs> man, I really was just shooting them shots, man. Like, like everybody I mentioned in there is somebody I potentially want to you know face off with someday. So I'm just you know putting a little gas under the under their seat real quick. How's the response? But you, sp- oh, you gave Pat Stay that pass. Why is that? You say I gave who? Pat. Nah, I ain't say I said I ain't want to battle him. I just. You know, crack his woman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, hey, man, he like you know, for me, like he, he not really that active. You know what I'm saying? Unless you can that bag, bag. So I just wanted to take that uh, shot at him. You know, I, I met Pat Stay at Massacre when I went and battled in Boston at Massacre. He was a cool dude, man. We walked to the gas station, grabbed some some shit, to, you know, some some smokes and kick it. You know, he a cool dude. So the people I shout out is the people who I really want to get that smoke with. Yeah, yeah, it's people you respect, obviously. I I take it, uh, you know, like boxers or mixed martial artists, uh, they're usually not looking for the easy fight. The guys who really want to make it to the top and be crowned and considered one of the best, they're not calling out, you know, the guy at the bottom of the card. They're looking for the top dudes, the people they respect, and the people they want to share the cage with, the ring with, or in your case, the battle rap pit or whatever it may be. So this is like the playful taunting, right? Like saying, fuck you guys, come get me, right? Yeah, I stand on everything I said, though. If they want problems, we can have, you know, I'm I'm ready for it. I'm standing on all that. It's it's, it's all in fun, but, you know, they take, take it how they want it. You see, ain't nobody responding. They know what it is. I love the energy, you know what I mean? It's not, like, particular to, like, this this song or whatever it is, you know what I mean? But you coming out and just saying, fuck all you guys, come get me, you know what I'm saying? I love yeah. the energy of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah, man. It gets me excited. <laughs> how's how's the response been how's the uh as far as you know battle rappers and nobody respond back to it you know i, I wasn't expecting nobody respond back but i mean like fans what are you what are you feeling back oh they love me they love me you know like long as i got my blessings from the big homies that's all i needed you know what i'm saying when i sent that shit in uh organic and and gully man they was like this is exactly what we need you feel me so I got a crazy ass video to it too, man. Like, oh, you did make a video. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna be dropping it right before the battle. Oh shit! And the battle is when the tenth or the eighth or something. Or the tenth, April tenth, from the fade. Live on YouTube. That's a uh... live on YouTube. Yeah, that's what? what that's what the flyer says. That's uh, I thought we were moving away from YouTube. Yeah, hmm. man. Um... It's just something they try. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't meant for Twitch. You know. Yeah, yeah. What are they doing as long as they keep these fucking battles coming, man? Because it's been fire. <laughs> it's been fire. I don't care which website I got to go to to watch this shit. So were you trying to line something up uh, for Run the Fade? Um, you know, a Snake Eyes is definitely a formidable opponent. But with this uh, this attempt getting it out there, were you hoping to get something something different out of it? Well, honestly, uh, if, if people uh, remember, Snake Eyes called me out in, in the Grand Prix. Mm-hmm. And then I responded in the Grand Prix. So mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people been wanting that battle. And like, come on, like the narrative of it is fucking amazing. Two cockeyed rappers going face to face. Like being for real, like that shit right there sells the fight. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just showing that it don't matter. Like, you know, I'm not that type of that type of artist, bro. Like I ain't got to battle the big, I just battle two 
people that nobody ever knew, nobody ever heard of on my home league just for the love of it, you feel me? Uh, literally Sunday, you feel me? So uh, I'm just showing, I'm just showing like, nigga, I can get busy with whoever. If people want to see me in Snake Eyes, give me a Snake Eyes. You want to see me with whoever you want, you know what I'm saying? Are there some battles though, I'm not even going to ask you to like name like examples to put you on the spot like that, but are there some battles that if they come your way, you might say like, no, and not because you're, you know, you're afraid of losing or looking like an asshole out there or anything, but you're just like, it do- that doesn't seem like an entertaining battle for the fans. Of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Right. Like, Is it more so a type of battler? Yeah. Like, it's like, uh, I just want what makes sense, man. Like mm-hmm. I can't see me talking my type of stuff to a Carter D you feel me? Like, yeah, fucking, you know, it's, it's just gonna bounce right off. <laughs> He's like a glitch in the system, man. Eh? Yeah, he is. <laughs> it's, a of, it's a lot of battlers that's like that, like like frack and and battlers. You know what I'm saying? That that can really expose that type of stuff. Because when you went, let's keep it real, like that shit don't win on smack. And yeah. sometimes it's tough shit don't win on KOTD. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, that is that is a fact for sure. They're different crowds. They're they're looking for a different thing. And as time has went on. Um, you see that I, I find RBE is the best blend of the two. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, is that is that another stage you'd like to be on at some point? Uh, you know, we open it, we open to it. You know, QT is right the now, home I, though. I, I'm just rocking with gang, bro. Like I'm a loyal person, bro. I'm a loyal person, bro. Like I'm rocking with gang, man. I've I've been out here so long, and ain't none of them people ever reach out to me. I done had PGs. I done turned down PGs. Cause I felt my loyal, I felt the the love, from, you know, the dot. You feel me? Yeah, like, real genuine shit, though. You know what I'm saying? You're definitely grown with it too, man. You're making like you you you're making good moves. You know what I mean? You're you're on the right track. That's for sure. Yeah, but the you're uh, I think you would have to agree. The real uh, stride you hit was during the Grand Prix. Uh, your performances, uh, you took a, like you said, killer of the dot, you, you beat the champ so bad they had to throw away the chain. Come so, on, talk about it, man. <laughs> so, uh, um, <clears throat> would you agree, you know, you, you really hit your stride and things have, uh, uh, there's been a lot more eyes on you since you're, uh, you're running the Grand Prix? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, that shit, that shit opened up a whole lot of lane, like, I was able to develop, you know what I'm saying, a relationship with y'all off Grand Prix. You feel me? Yeah. I probably would have never met y'all or never yeah, talked that's to y'all. Yeah, that's true. You feel me? So I Great. Glad that shit definitely did, you know, shine a light on me. But I just want people to know, like, that ain't it, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That ain't it. You always need a way in, though, you know what I mean? And it seems like that was it, you know what I mean? Shine a light, shine a yeah. bit of light on you, and now you're just ready to blossom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let these motherfuckers like, know what you got, like, you know? Last time we talked, I was telling y'all, man, I had just purchased our building. You know, right now we done, we on our like 15th event. You feel me? So it's more than, than this. Like we, we trying to take over everywhere. It's looking pretty dope. I've seen some video cuts on, uh, on Facebook that you put out and shit. I can't wait for them yeah. to open the fucking border, man. Man, I swear y'all will love it down here, man. We're literally fucking three hours away, man. I'd be down to go check yeah, it out. Yeah, you're even closer. You're like less than two hours from them. That's what I'm saying, man. It's the fucking border and the corona and all this bullshit. Man, I'll, right I'll even take the fucking that. needle. Just open it yeah. up. <laughs> as soon as you come off the bridge, man. Oh, yeah? You got, you're that close to the border, are you? Yeah, yeah. We got spots all around. We can meet you right there at the bridge. Man. <laughs> the boom, oh, boom. It, we definitely should do something like that. You know what I mean? Because um, great things came out of it already, right? Like, I am fucking more than proud of the song that we made. You know what I'm saying? For the listeners that don't know, check it out on Spotify, YouTube, wherever you want. It's Krill, K-R-I-L, featuring Times, and So Severe. It's called Where I'm From. And uh, people can testify to this, that like I've had rapper friends all throughout my life. Some of them became very successful. And when they show me something that is, I, it may not be correct. Other people may love it. I think it's fucking whack. I say it. This shit is fucking fire. It's fucking very good. It gives three different fucking looks on a song. And the way that shit came together is amazing. And it's different, man. It's definitely different. Like, mm-hmm. I, I got the homies down here, like, really trying to learn what, what my man's crib be saying. Like, <laughs> you know, like, the shit crazy, bro, to just see, you know, that reach, man. Like, just to tell people, man, I got a song like that, man. That's just special, bro. 
It's I awesome it. too, bro, because I, I send it back home to fucking people back there, right? Like there's, uh, I don't know if you know this VK.com, whatever it, it, it is. Uh, yeah. So it, it, it is Russian Facebook, you know what I mean? Pretty much. It's all the same shit in Russian, right? So I posted there, I talk to people and I'm like, yo, look at this. I got fucking, a couple, I got a couple of fucking real dudes, you know what I mean? I'm a shit. I'm so proud of it. I'm posting it. I'm getting a response. They're like, <laughs> yeah, holy man. fuck, this, this is actual, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's a whole different, because I've been rapping for a minute too, right? But it's a whole different kind of vibe because now around me, I've been here i've been in canada for so long right and i'm rapping in russian and nobody understands what i'm saying and now i'm right. finally now I finally translated it and the first feature that i do i fucking i in, in my books we nailed it bro like everybody came through did your thing, you know bro. I mean? like you really was talking crazy on that shit bro yeah you too it's I, I actually said and analyzed it like i put it in the studio equipment and slowed the shit down are you really talking crazy bro Thanks, bro. I appreciate that. I try to work. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not a, it's not a problem that I can't. Rap. I can rap. I can fucking. You know what I mean? I'll stand in front of anybody and I can say I can rap. But the problem is translating it. You know what I mean? And I think I'm getting it, bro. And that's what I'm saying. When we when we get this hookup, when when the fucking border opens up, we're gonna show up there with the building. We're gonna cover your event, whatever the fuck it is, and we're gonna shoot. In the, we're gonna shoot a video. I gotta I gotta shoot a video with you, my G. We gotta do this. Hey, that's a must, man. Like show y'all this good Detroit lifestyle down here, man. Bro, and that's been one of the fucking, you know what I mean? Like, um, not just because of Eminem and 8 Mile, but Detroit's got such a fucking heavy hip-hop presence in the culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? For everybody from D12 to Royce to Trick Trick, all of them now you coming through. You know what I mean? Like, it's such a heavy hip-hop fucking uh, legendary, hip-hop legendary lie, city. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ever since I met Gully and Organic, I tried to get them to hang out with me in Detroit, man. And Gully, Gully hung out with me one time. We had him in the club. We heard, we heard. <laughs> and man, I went to jail like an hour later, man. Like, oh, we didn't hear fuck? that. <laughs> oh, well, we need this part of the story. So. Gully left that out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about, man, yeah, we had, we had a crazy, like, but yeah, we, we just, we just moved different, you know, a lot. We just want to show the same love that we be getting when we be out the way, you feel me? Mm hmm yeah and plus too like you meet a guy like gully and you guys are obviously close like, like good friends uh, you both speak very highly of, of each other and it's more than just uh he's a part of kot staff and you're getting opportunities you can tell there's more to it than that and yeah, that you know go real life stuff though like like real life stuff like that happened in my life like they stepped in and, and offered you know a shoulder uh you know what I'm saying a uh, a donation or like anything like and that's something that i took you know i took that shit to heart bro you feel yeah. me? like you don't yeah. have people like that you know and you so yeah like he said you know and, and like gully was telling us he you had a, you had him went to the club and all kinds of shit he said that he he's good <laughs> he's like I, I felt completely comfortable right and like he, he, if if gully just roamed into that club by himself things probably wouldn't have been the same right bro, and, you gotta think about it man like we Grand Prix, we had Sharon. Like it might have looked it good on that camera, bro. But where we shot that stuff at, we was in the middle of the gutter, bro. That's you what know I heard. what I'm saying? Like we Sharon walked to the gas station on one of the most dangerous streets in Detroit, and people looking like, is that dude from Wilding Out? Like, and we had to tell him, <laughs> like, bro, you can't move like that. You feel me? When you move around here, you gotta move with with us because it's, it's different. You feel me? It's mm -hmm. different. Like he, somebody would have scored on him just because he who you is. I was you about to like, say, uh, yeah, yeah, just, just to catch a rep, just to catch a rep, man. And then you know, now I'm, nobody want to come to Detroit, but you know, you got your your, your people who tap in and, and and ones who who enjoy life, man. Can't be scared to to live, man. Mm -hmm. And like the way you know you receive Gully or Sharon, you and your crew. It's like yeah. they come from different walks of life, but if if someone was to try to like you know switch up and be like, oh, you know, I fit right in with these guys, it probably wouldn't work the same. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah. you know, just be yourself. It's okay. That's the best You're part a visitor. About Jerome to me though, because like he embraced the awkwardness. You feel me? He'll mm -hmm. never try to change it up when he get around certain people. As far as I've seen, you feel me? Now, is this before or after he battled Shoddy? Cause that can uh, make a difference. Before, I, I said, man, I done met them guys a, a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't my first time brushing shoulders, you know, with Sharon. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. We don't have no real relationship, but you know, when we see each other, we know it's always the same thing. You feel me? But it's yeah. Crazy yeah, has so always, much, so much love could be built off music, off hip hop, off, off battle rap, off being, you know, part of a culture like that, where, 
Well, I mean, look at it. Did you ever think you were going to make a song with a guy from Russia? Hey, man, never, bro. Like, right? Yeah, I, it's That's crazy. my big flex right now. Like, I'm, <laughs> I throw that in right now. Like, nigga, I'm, I'm international, B. <laughs> <laughs> and it's for real, though. I have I have a little, like, a, a, a bit more presence in Russian than I do here. You know what I mean? So around there, it's spread around a bit more. You know what I mean? I got more hits yeah, than it. Man. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just building up here. Then around there, it's a little more set up. So you definitely, you know what I mean? People that listen to it. I got you like a couple thousand listens. People know, you know, what I mean? a couple thousand people in Russia know who you are. My dog, my dog. I might have to just drop a whole tape like that, man. Like that, man. Uh, Bro, I, I love the energy. Like, I, I love the energy in your flow. That's what I'm saying. It's like that, that uh, the, when I asked you to do the hook, you know what I mean? Yeah. I sent you, I sent you the part and that was the, uh, the instrumental switch, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. uh, you were only supposed to do the hook and I just gave you the song with the empty parts, right? And boom, you lay down the 12 bars and I'm like, wait a minute. I'm not fucking, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to have to stretch this one and, a bit. So. And the thing <laughs> about that, I wouldn't even, I just was. You there? Oh, no. <coughs> I think you dropped. I think he's oh. muted. <coughs> <laughs> this says three participants still. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. My you back? Bad. Yeah, my bad. No, all good. All good. But yeah, I was saying, fuck, you know what I mean? I, I heard that. I was just like, that wasn't supposed to be there because I only asked you to do the hook, right? But I'm like, this shit is so dope. You know what we're doing? I'm giving it back to my beat maker. We're throwing another fucking four bars in there or eight bars. So stretch it, put a hook, and we're keeping that shit there. Yeah, man, I was just in my mode, man. The beat was playing. I just kept going, bro. Yeah. So, uh, what was I supposed to say? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, isn't that, it's pretty crazy. Like Curl is saying, you know, people back home, like in Russia, it's, it's a giant country, so it's not like this is a big percentage, but say there's a couple thousand people who actually are, you know, they may not even understand what the fuck you're saying. And they're running around, just bobbing their head to this shit. Like, yo, you, you know this time? The thing is, a lot of them guy? do, though, because English is such a universal, universal language nowadays that they might not understand everything, but they do understand a lot. You know what I mean? And to me, even personally, have severe talking about Atlanta and New Jersey and then you saying fucking home of BMF, of Big Meech, Maserati, all that shit. You know what mm. I mean? To me, it was just like, yes, I made it. Mom, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know what I mean? Stuff. Like this, because rapping in Russian was cool and shit, and I get this and that, right? But this is like I have an actual song in English where it came from, and I got these guys saying Detroit and saying all this fucking tough shit. You know what I mean? It's just I don't know. This is my favorite song as of yeah, now. Man, it's about man putting that shit together and branching off, man. Like that's really a big, big move for you, Creel, man. I'm just happy you let me be a part of that, my bro. I'm happy you signed up for it, bro. I'm sure we'll do more. Yeah. It was severe uh, being on it first and then reaching out to you and then obviously going back to severe out of, you know, pro professional uh, uh, courtesy. Um, uh, severe was like, I don't give a shit. Tom's my dog. I don't care, whatever. And I don't right. know how well you know each other. Like, how often have you guys crossed paths? Obviously, you're, you know, you do work in the same lane to some extent. But uh, are you guys just like acquaintances, like cool with each other? Are you guys like actually? I mean, you know, me and me and So Severe, we we chopped it up a couple of times uh, on the internet. I think I met him personally in, uh, in Miami down there when I went down there with Don Marino. But mm -hmm. uh, we, you know, he cool, bro, cool. I, I'm ready to get wrecked with him. You feel me? I'm gonna lock up with him. <laughs> yeah, you know, he, he a beast, man. You remember when the game? had the song out featuring Ludacris and T.I. Yeah. And someone got it. For, remember, you know what I'm talking about already? Yeah. Right? And I was like, it, it, we, there has to be some sort of professional courtesy here. Because <laughs> what if what if it goes like this? And then Times is like, oh, yeah, Severe Sound. And he already dropped his verse. Watch it, this. And we get basically a preview <laughs> of the Killer of the Dot, right? So, yeah, hey, that, won't, that won't you be know, a good look. Man, I, I, I could do that to my man. You feel me? Like, that shit was really, like, a blessing to be picked, you know, when y'all reached out to me, like, 
shit blew my mind. So I just wanted to make the best project we could have made. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Bro, honestly, we were flipping through people, you know what I mean? Thinking who could do good because I couldn't do that hook for the life of me. I don't know why. I just couldn't <laughs> do it. You know what I mean? And we're thinking of people, thinking of people. And we came across one of your videos and we we're like, fuck, we just talked to this guy. He's cool as fucking. He's going to nail it. It's like I was just like, this is his, his kind of beat. You know what I mean? This is going to sound yeah. good. And you fucking came through, bro. You just came through. I was just like, as soon as we, as soon as we, we, we talked about that, I was just like, we're talking to him first. If he says no, then we'll move on. But I gotta, I gotta get him on this. Mm. Oh yeah, man. Like I told you, bro. Anytime, bro. Like I'm willing to do a whole project, man. That shit was easy, bro. We can even talk. <laughs> we might even talk about that. We'll see, man. Off, off, off the air. You know what I mean? I might be down for that. You're so close yeah. to that. Once the fucking curtain drops, we make some shoot some videos and all that. <laughs> curtain shit, you know? drops. This is USSR. <laughs> <laughs> the, iron, the iron curtain bro holy shit the berlin wall came down i feel like we've been moved back to communism they tell you where to sleep when to shit and you know what i mean what stores to go to. wear a muzzle wear a muzzle it's crazy out here man like it's more a little more open around these parts but yeah that shit crazy how 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 is lockdown going for you guys are you in like purple zone too or Shit, we the in club, the, like the ground. We get money. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Green, That's bro. the answer. <laughs> we chilling, feed up in the building. You know, like, oh, uh, like it's a, it's a struggle for everybody, man. But but no, I mean, like, are, are is there limitations on how many people you can have in a room and all that bullshit? I mean, uh, as far as restaurants, uh, shit, our clubs and strip clubs is open right now, bro. Oh, no, so everything good. So they just closed at a, a, a earlier hour. But, uh, you know, as far as us, we're a private establishment, so we can pack that motherfucker out as long as we doing tests at the door and uh, temperature checks and shit. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, at least you're allowed to do that here. It's like they open up for a couple of days, let some people in, and boom, back to red zone. And then boom, out of it, and then back into this fucking teeter tatter. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, it's kind of lax around here, but you know, they still on it a little bit, especially with the uh, restaurants. Mm. What's the uh, the run run the fade venue like? Do you know what it is? Do you know where it is? Have you seen it, or do you already know what it is? It's right in Detroit, right? Yeah, it's, it's it's supposed to be a barbershop. It should have been in my building because we could have built a barbershop in that mud. Oh, but, shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what <laughs> I was trying to tell Gully, man. I had to FaceTime him like, bro, everything y'all need, we got. You feel me? Like, bro, <laughs> we gotta, it's going to be at a barbershop, man. I guess they want that, you know, that enclosed setting. So it's going to be a probably a private event, not much of a crowd. My type of board game, you feel me? Yeah, but with your hair, do you spend a whole lot of time in the barbershop? Honestly, bro, I don't even you, touch my hair, bro. Yeah, you ain't. Yeah, you're not getting. You're not getting groomed up every other week, right? <laughs> no, man, I got probably get my hair twisted twice a year, bro. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, when was the last time you cut it? Like at I just all? Recently cut it, bro. I recently like I do not look the same as I did in the tournament, like. Not even a little the same. Yeah, I cut, yeah, yeah, I yeah, cut, yeah. I cut it short, man. I cut it. I cut it a little shorter, man. Right a little shorter, the- yeah. But I'm talking like you know, you're going for a corporate job interview. When was the last time it was that short? Honestly, it never, it never been. I had hair my whole life, bro. Oh, I, had, shit. I probably, I probably had two haircuts in my whole life. Once when I turned <laughs> eighteen, and when I like from when I was a baby to like eighteen. And then from 18, I grew it back out and I cut it like 20 something, 21. And then ever since then, it's been here. Why is that? Just style or is it some, is there something more to it? I hate Barb. I hate your haircut. <laughs> Bro, my word. I used to just fucking go point three, just not to fuck with my hair. Zoom. Yeah, man, I, I hate haircuts, man. I was one of them kids, bro. Like, don't uh, touch my head, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm with you there. I've been banned from a few hairdressers. Yeah, it's, man. Like, <laughs> it's just me, though. Like, I don't know, man. I always, it's just always been me, bro. Like, but yeah, like I said, I recently just trimmed it. That shit was getting heavy. And, you know, it was the new year. So I want to, you know, cut, cut all that bad shit off. You feel me? Change it up. What's up? Sorry, I just wanted to bring it back to the fucking to the killer did that for a second. Not for the shit, uh, not for the actual um, content, but you were saying something about pulling Bentleys out on the West Coast. No, uh, don't get it twisted. When we was out in LA, you know, we had the 2020, we had a 2020 Audi, we had a 2020 Affinity truck. But when I spoke on, you should have seen their faces when we pulled the Bentleys out. My little brother, he just passed like a year ago, so for his birthday. Oh shit! Sorry. 
for his birthday, we brought the Bentleys out and we told the city of yeah, probably the only people in Detroit for Bentleys back to back. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I spoke on about that. You know what I'm saying? The reason I was asking that is, um, were they rented or were they like, would they yours or like? Because oh, I'm no, trying to, I'm trying to get one for the video now, bro. I just had a G wagon. Ain't, no fake, ain't no faking in my game. Time, <laughs> no you know what I'm saying? Them bitches was renting, but hey, come on, I'm. Uh, 2500 for a weekend for Bentley's you know 2500 is that what it is because eh? that's what I'm saying I just said well my boy gave me a G-Wagon right so we shot it in the video so that looks pretty dope but Bentley is like one of my all time favorite cars right so when I heard that I was just like I'm going to check in with him how much it costs oh, fucking 2500 for a weekend we got, we got a dope car place here shout out my boy Alex you know he take care of all the celebrities when they come here you know they got Bentley's Lambos all of that you feel me like you know this is how Detroit get down you know what I'm saying Honestly, Bentley is like the only car that excites me. That's why I got so far. I was just like, oh, I gotta ask him. I gotta ask him. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> 25. No, fuck, man, that's steep. Yeah, so, in this, this run, this run the fade venue, uh, back to that. Uh, you were talking about, you know, uh, restaurants and strip clubs and whatever, and what kind of uh, restrictions they have. Will there be any restrictions for this, uh, aside from what KOTD limits? Hey, man, you know. They take that shit serious, like, you know what I'm saying? Gully, I know Gully said he will be here, so mm. I'm pretty sure it's going to be some restrictions because, like you said, once y'all come over here, it'd be going through hell when y'all try to go back home. Yeah. You know? So we just got to make it as safe as possible for bro. Like, we don't need all that. You know what I'm saying? We don't need all that. I don't need no super crowd, you know? Let's just get in here, take care of these battles. There's some crazy battles out here. I got my brothers, man. I'm bringing my brothers in with me. Shout out to my brother, Piranha. Shout out my brother, uh, Stack Almighty. Like, mm -hmm. these my guys, you know what I'm saying? And, and I always said, once I got a chance to open up something, I'm going to be putting my people on, you feel me? And that's exactly what I did. Like, don't get me twisted. Like, they've been in touch with, with them on their own, but I put that that light. Like, man, y'all got to come snatch my guys, you feel me? Like, we got that 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 work over here. No, that's nice. It's always good to look out, you know what I mean? Put put your people on. That's that's good to see that you you seem like you're doing the proper moves. I was just gonna ask quick, do you think uh do you know what's going on with Run Defeat in terms of the crowd? Because you're saying you got strip bars and shit open. Is it because they're trying to keep that environment of a barbershop in a small crowd? Is it because I it's this corrupt? To protect, you know, gully and the staff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see, I see. So they're sticking to the like to the I rules say, to be we, able to come back. Yeah, like and right now, bro, you can fucking pull up and get a COVID test on a corner, bro. Like, we used to this shit here, <laughs> Like a uh, fucking hand-to-hand? Like, -hand? <laughs> bro, I swear to God. No, I mean, they like at Walmart, Walgreens and stuff, but you literally can pull in, catch the COVID, you know, get a COVID test. Oh, shit, I got it. Pull it down the street. Get a vaccine. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit crazy, bro. <clears throat> so I'm thinking, like, with the crowd, it's, for, it's far more to protect them, you feel me? Because... Like, we already living in that shit out here, and, and it's not really, you know what I'm saying, that scarce out here. And you already just touched on some of the people you've, uh, you know, not necessarily absolutely gave this the, the spot to. I'm, I don't want to make that assumption, but at least uh, brought them in front of the right people give that got them the opportunity on this card. Yeah. Uh, also, the, uh, and now here's the thing, I don't know, is it Rosé or Rosa Productions? Rose production. Rose, right. And I see they got they got they did the uh the filming and, and photography. Well not the filming, I guess that was all on that team, but uh, a lot of photography for the GP when it was in Detroit. Yeah. I see yeah, they're behind the camera crazy. for this too. They do real nice work. Now, did you have a hand in uh helping them out at all either? And I'm not trying to talk down on them like they needed it because they do great work, but I know you you people are tight. So did yeah, you that, have that, a, a hand in that? Team. Yeah. That's my team. Like that that's my they part of our production elite. They they do all our production. They do our, our yeah. flight videos. Like that's our team. Anything that I'm a, I'm associated with, they associated with. But as far as them actually getting that gig, they got mm -hmm. that gig for putting in his work. You feel me? Nice. Every battle that was shot in Michigan, they did that shit. You feel me? And once once people got to ask, who can I get a camera to to pop in? You know, I had to call my baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. They uh, they do great work. Uh, it's nice to see them succeed. How did you uh, link up with them? Because let's be honest, they don't look like the people you hang out with in your videos. You know what I mean? They don't look like they're they they're from the same lane. 
Well, um, honestly, like we met the Roses. Uh, shout out to my uh, cousin Sig Dollar, the owner mm-hmm. of Alpha League Entertainment. Mm-hmm. Um, we met the Roses doing events out in Flint. They was doing some events for some people. And we, we we honestly started seeing how people was about to start playing them. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like once you get a new new cat in, everybody want to come in, throw you the low ball, mm-hmm. uh, do my event, do my event, do my event. But you so happy to do a event that you take. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we started we started seeing what was about to happen, and and you know, cuz stepped in like before anybody fuck y'all over, y'all gonna come rock with us. We gonna make sure y'all do it. So. Ever since then, man, the Rosé's been on payroll. They done did our last battle for the last two years, man. How is how is so, so there? How is your league doing? Our league good, man. Our league good, man. We got like I say, we got half of the people from um running on this run your run the fade car is from my home league. Shout out my dog Piranha, Stack Almighty, Impulse. I know y'all probably familiar. So with So that's that's people you're putting on, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like this, these are people from my home league. That's why it's such a, a, a good event, man. Like my nigga Michigan, all mm-hmm. of them, everybody on that besides the, you know, the opponents, they really from our league. Like this shit is a dope look, man. So you're leading the way. That's nice, bro. That's that's a good look for you for sure. And I wasn't even a standout guy. You know what I'm saying? Like my dog Impo has been on King of the Dot yep. years before I ever been on there. You feel me? But, you know, people had real lives, man. I just, was able to glow up at the right time, man. Yeah, people have real lives. It's making you yeah, almost put yourself down there. <laughs> no, bro, I, you got to think about where I come from, bro. I was in the streets doing bad so long, bro, like, that I watched so many of my people around me blow up, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I was supposed to be booked on the battle where Calico battled Young Ill and Smack Who Was This Nigga Was Born. Like, I was booked to be on that battle, but me being a knucklehead, oh. street, I missed out. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, that's a miss, shit. yeah. But you just you gotta stay ready for your time, right? As soon as it comes, you gotta be ready. Seem like you reacted right. on point, you know? Right, right. That's what I'm saying. Like you can't can't ever give this shit up, man. Like Lord knows, I ain't about to be doing this shit another two years. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm that's why I'm ushering in that next wave. You feel me? Once y'all get a load of my boy Piranha, like he literally just came home. What two years ago? He done hit smack three times already. Mm-hmm. P, you know PG is now he about to debut on King of the Dot. Like mm-hmm. this boy, a, a whole animal, man, and it's a new face, new fresh. Like we we got some fresh shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the uh, uh, Michigan. He was on a serious tear. We were talking to um, uh, Troy Troy Daniels about this King Fly. He was on a mm-hmm. serious tear like a few years ago, and then some shit got fucked up whatever and he had some issues and but recently i've seen him pop it up here and there and i'm really excited about that and excited to see him back in this because when he was on like a run probably like what five years ago or so i really yeah, thought like you know he's gonna start getting some real big looks in the near future and then you know shit just didn't work out for a little while i like to see him back the empos in dallas cash match oh fuck that's gonna be amazing me and Gun battled twice too, man. That's crazy. That's my mm. dog. That's my mm. dog. We battled once in a shelter and we battled once in a hip hop shop. How epic is that? Holy shit. In the hip hop shop. In the hip hop shop and you, the shelter. You Both hearing this, the Amy? <laughs> yeah. I'm hearing this. A- a- Amy has to have some <laughs> sort of feelings right now. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a throwback, like, whoa, for real. Yeah. Was Papa Doc in the audience? Or? No, nah, he wasn't, but Trick Trick was. Oh, Whoa! shit. That's more exciting for me. Yo, I was just watching this thing uh, recently, Hip Hop Uncovered or Uncovered Hip Hop, something like that off FX. And it's about like the, the gangsters that have helped develop hip hop over the years. And Trick Trick was a big part of it. Um, yeah. I, I know you guys are fucking decades apart in age. But uh, even coming up, did you feel the effects as a like a young kid getting into it, like the like the uh, the effects in in a positive way that Trick Trick held over Detroit hip hop? Like, I was mean, it a like, thing that that that, honestly, that like, go ahead. just like a myth? You know what I'm saying? When I was a child, when I was growing up, it was like you heard of them, then you heard you don't mess with them. You feel me? But the myth, the legend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't mess with them. Like it was like the legend, but. 
you know, that's the big homie. You know, he was just at his rec uh, record station. He showed us nothing but love, you know. Um, mm. You know, he tapped in with us, you know what I'm saying? That's the big homie. Really, really rock with us, you feel me? That's so, got to feel nice to have a respect from a person oh yeah. like that, you know what I mean? Mm. Oh, yeah. And the way we won is respect. You know, he had a he had a contest that's so my cousin we came in there 20 30 deep shut the whole thing down won a contest and he he been rocking with us ever since like i love y'all movement you know what i'm saying he helped he, he fucked with us for real he's just tapped all the way in then eh yeah yeah for sure it's, it's about being a, a real person though you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. everybody can't live like that because everybody don't move like that mm -hmm. and, and speaking of another uh mythical gangster well i mean he's not mythical but you know like you were saying it's like a myth of a trick trick thing uh white boy rick was that a name you heard growing up at all yeah that nigga was a rat yeah but is that that's a that's actually something that you heard growing up not like a myth like trick trick oh no like everybody knew rick was a rat you know what i'm saying that was that wasn't even a secret like for real like, yeah everybody knew rick was a rat but think about rick everybody know he was part of the, the mayor family he was banging the mayor door uh, nieces and all of that you feel me like, that's what well, I made, know that's what made Rick infamous because he, he kind of was untouchable you feel me? wow have you watched the movie man I ain't supporting that man when they come it's out that, that bad eh holy shit they come wow. out with that big niece movie man I'm right there but we ain't supporting our ass well 50's man. doing that eh 50's doing a whole series on that yeah yeah I heard man but you know they got to tell his story right, too, man. That man changed the world. Well, apparently 50's been on the phone with him and, like, me just been approving scripts and all kinds of shit. Like, this is about to get, like, real, real. Yeah, because yeah. when you watch a Meech documentary, too, it's all ATL, ATL, ATL. It, and then there's a little bit about Detroit and then back to ATL, like, ATL. People don't even understand, like, all that shit was ran from here. That's why I loved um, it when you said that shit on my song, bro. I was just like, yes. <laughs> yeah, man. Detroit, man, Detroit is crazy, bro. Like, it's it's literally probably a new drug lord every two years. It's my dog. Like, that's just how crazy it was here. You feel me? Like, niggas was getting money young. Bro, yeah. I remember when Detroit claimed bankruptcy. Um, yeah. I don't remember if it was the mayor or one of the politicians came out and said that we are not the murder capital anymore because there's nobody left to kill. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they were going nuts there for a second. That's brutal. Yeah, it was like one of the I'm pretty sure it was the mayor. I don't want to speak like call it wrong, you know what I mean? But I'm pretty sure it was like one of the city city council mayors or something like that, you know? Yeah, that shit crazy. It's man. been rough. We don't have gangs here, you know what I'm saying? We don't have gangs here. So like you in Cali, you got a bunch of gangs, people banging streets. In Detroit, you got either a bunch of different dudes that's getting money who want to keep their money going, so they beefing, or you got a bunch of broke people who want to get the money from the money getter. So they be. That's all really what our crime is, bro. But it's getting up there. Yeah. It's, it's building up a bit better now, no? Detroit's doing better. Man, it's wild down here right now. But I mean, like, business <laughs> business centers opened up and shit, no? Because they, they, there's been advertisements on the radio. Come to Detroit. The Detroit downtown it. is building up. That's downtown. You know what I'm saying? Well, That's it's a start, like right? From being Detroit bankrupt, Detroit. though. Man. That's what the bankruptcy was for, my dog. They took all that money and put it right back in them pretty buildings. So when y'all look right across that border, y'all can say, I'm going to go right there. But if you ride two more, ten more minutes down that same street, you don't see the real Detroit. You feel me? Oh, shit. So it's all just dust in the face, huh? It's all just dust in the face, bro. Like, they don't love us for real. That's why we got so many entrepreneurs that's doing it for ourselves. We have a whole avenue called the Avenue of Fashion. Nothing but black owned business all type of business is like it's a whole three mile strip we got to do this for ourselves because they just want to look out for the good parts down you know what i'm saying when the whole like financial collapse of detroit was happening uh you know you must have been like were you even old enough i know you weren't like in diapers or anything but old enough to realize what the fuck was going on around you hell yeah yeah, I was, just, I was just out of high school, bro, and it's like oh, for real. I thought you were younger than that. You're giving out your age I'm, now. I'm, I'm about to be 33, April 7th. Bro. I thought you were like 27, 28. Hell no, man. I got gray hairs, bro. Oh <laughs> shit! A few more years, your arthritis will be kicking in. Yeah, that's why I say I'm 40. I can say that. 
I ain't got too much longer battling, man. I gotta hurry up and get out of here. That's what I'm saying. Going hard now, man. I'm about 35. We're about the same age, so <laughs> gotta fucking hey, get got about well, got about 10 years to put in some. Sorry, say it again. I say two chains ain't blow up till he was 38, 39. Mm. Come on, yeah, hopefully that was before that, man. We're going for it. Yeah. So when when that was <laughs> happening, though, like you, like you and and the people around you, even because obviously from from afar, you know, you're getting news reports. That's mm-hmm. always basically 100 percent bullshit. But being there, right in it, like you, you really could see what was coming, could see it unfolding. Yeah, you coming straight out of high school? These whole four years, they've been telling you you got to do all of this so you can get a job. As soon as you graduate, they say, "Oh, the city broke." We ain't hiring nobody. Ain't nobody got no jobs for no people. You gotta have seniority. You gotta have, you know what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. shit really, that shit really messed everything up to where it made basically my whole generation become street people. You feel me? Because mm-hmm. as soon as we get out of school, y'all it instantly tell us, no, you can't work here. You know what I'm saying? We only mess with the people we got, or we're not hiring. And that that shit just throw a whole community in turmoil. Wow, it's fucked up. Yeah, and the uh, ramifications must have been felt far outside Detroit. It's not like you can just be like, well, we're going to relocate friggin' 50 miles down the road, and yeah. there, there, everybody's hiring, right? Like, it, it was... No, a- like, you literally, if you're living in Detroit, you would have to drive literally 30 minutes to an hour to get decent employment. And that's wow. that's messed up, bro. Like, <laughs> wow. That's really messed up. If you're living in Detroit, and you want to work in Detroit, yeah, you better go crack them Kentucky Fried Chicken buggies or something, <laughs> and the yes. the collapse of the uh, the automotive market. Uh, obviously, Detroit felt that bad. Uh, is that for for me from afar? Like I was just saying, it's like re- that's when I was really like, "Holy fuck, this is fucked." Not just for them, but for North America and even more. Is uh, is don't that really the see that though, bro? Like when that type of stuff happened. It yeah. don't even hit our poverty line. Like that shit don't even trickle down to us. that'd Holy be like shit. that middle class, that that upper middle class, that's who be affected from that shit. Like I know plenty of people who worked in the auto industry when that stuff happened. They got mm. severance packages, like nigga, we don't give you a hundred thousand dollars in a free, Whoa. free car. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit. Okay. So they they made out at least all right until they uh set that. something else up. It ain't like man, people start buying dodges and and you know kids stop getting food in the schools. You feel me? But <laughs> we don't feel no effects from that junk. Like right now, if you're working in the plants right now, you consider the dope man. Like you make just as much money as the dope man right now. You feel Holy me? Holy like, shit! It's crazy, man. Like it's crazy. That's why I'd rather work for myself. Oh shit! Have you ever thought about? Uh, like in, in in the past, when things may maybe not have been going so well, leaving and going to like a different city, different state. Yeah, man. Everybody think about it, but shit. Why bring your problems somewhere else, man? I don't think it's gonna change them. You change. You change. If you change your situation up, and you still got the same mindset, the shit, the shit just gonna follow you. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's spoken like a leader, bro. <laughs> that shit just gonna follow you, bro. You're gonna be all the way in in Georgia, broke as hell. <laughs> the same shit you was doing in Detroit on your mama couch, bro. Like, no, but if you change, if you change where you are, you change your environment. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's true. But shit, man, I'm one of the type of people, bro. Like after two days somewhere, I'm out of here. There you go. <laughs> Miami, nowhere. I've been in Miami, bro. Like I'm ready to go, bro. Like. <laughs> like <clears throat> Got to be something to do, though, right? That's what I'm saying. I've, I've, I've tried to move out of my town a couple of times, right? I've been to Florida. I've been to different cities in Ontario, but fucking got to have roots to make money, right? Yeah, but it's, it's yeah. cool. Like I say, it's cool for that new scenery, but eventually you're going to get sucked back into your routine. You know what I'm saying? You was mm-hmm. selling weed in, in, in Michigan and go there. You're going to find somebody with weed that sells weed. You feel me? Like, that's <laughs> what I'm like not about to go down there and like, hey, I'm about to get a great. But that's what I'm and- saying. You gotta, you gotta change yourself, right? And then try to try to do better. Yeah, man, definitely. As you and your team grow, uh, whether it be with hip hop music, whether it be with real estate, whether it be with uh, you know, battle rap, the the league, um, 
any of that shit, is there any uh, plans on, you know, expansion to where one day it's not like you're running away from your problems. It's like you need to be posted in a different state, different city, whatever it may be to help grow. Yeah, man, because right now um, we we working on that right now. Like we, right now we working on getting promotional license where we can start, you know, what I'm saying throwing fights. We got a couple of boxers on the team. now. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, like shit. Really- she can really get crazy, bro. So it's getting to the point where we're going to have to station somewhere else and have, like, this is basically the headquarters, you know what I'm saying, for our building. But, yeah, I'm kind of sick about it, man. April 10th, shout out to my babies. They're going to fight in Atlanta, man. Going down. Who's fighting? What what league? Plug them. You said what league? Yeah, yeah, you said they're fighting. What, are they boxing? Yeah. Yeah, they box. Bro. Okay. What What's the uh, promotion? I'm gonna get to you. I'm gonna uh, inbox you that shit, all the information. You know what I'm saying? We just uh, start putting that shit together. My cousin, it's really my cousin venture. You should. I'm just backing him up with it. We was supposed to go perform and bring them out to the ring April 10th, but I had to mm. do the ring phase shit. So, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. But I definitely get you that information so y'all can check that fight out because I know y'all love that shit. Oh, oh, I'm yes. plug it with the episode too <laughs> somehow. But uh, were you saying you were going to walk him out to the ring? Were you going to like perform and walk him out the way like 50 Dip Mayweather or were you just going to walk yeah, beside him? Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. Gonna you were going to fucking bang it out, eh? That's nice, bro. That would have been fucking... 50 did me, but you mean like Tupac did Tyson? That's a, I've never that's seen that. I, I wasn't, you know what I mean? I moved here in 2002, I didn't see that, but I've You're seen right. I've seen 50 Mayweather. I'm sorry, yeah. You know who else yeah, was there? Really Justin dope. Bieber, yeah. <laughs> well, Pac and Tyson. So, you a fan of boxing then, or is it just a, a business endeavor for you? I'm a fan of my boys, you feel me? That's you fair, whatever, whatever my people do, bro. Whatever they got going, I don't care if they want to. Do whatever. I'm a fan, bro. Like I ain't gonna. I ain't really a boxer head. You feel me? I've never been an athlete, bro. I was always in music. Mm. Are you a fan of any sports? Shit, man, it's crazy. I'm not, bro. I'm really not, bro. And it's crazy. Like my my pops was a, a college football player. Mm. Uh, he played in NCAA. All that. Like my whole family was athletes, bro. I just I just took the other bud. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where'd your pops play ball? Uh, he played in uh, Ohio, played for South, uh, Youngstown High, and he played for Youngstown University. Then he went up to uh, Ohio, played with the uh, Bucks for a minute. Oh, shit, Amy, it's your home team. Ah, oh, die in a fire. <laughs> you Ohio late, Amy? Bro, I live in Columbus, but I am not a Buck. I hate Bucks. Hate, man, hate, hate. Shout out to the bus, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they. <laughs> I mean, man, shout out to the bus, man. Y'all still got Gingy's open down there? I have no, bro, I've not even lived here a year. I don't go out. I don't even like Ohio. I'm in, like, <laughs> on my way somewhere else. I couldn't tell you a thing. Man, if you ever hungry, look up Gingy's. It's a spot out there, man. They got some dope, dope rice bowls, rice, uh, shrimp, steak, all that. <laughs> I mean, I like the what? No, I got munchies. Uh, Amy, how does everyone always seem to just start talking to you about um, the best places to eat and certain <laughs> things to cook? And like, you went to one of the finest culinary schools around. And... <laughs> it's, it's my magnetic personality, Jason. Yes, man, I just... love Columbus, though, man. Columbus, wow, man, it's crazy. Man. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I'm not with that. I mean, Chase. We talked to Chase Moore, right? He was like, "Oh man, Ohio!" And I was like, "What?" Yeah. Like everybody loves Ohio, and I just, I'm not, I'm not with it. I don't know. I don't know. I also live in Indiana. In Ohio, eh, you know that's not just Ohio though. I've li- I've lived. I can only think of one place I liked being in less than Ohio, and it's right next door. <laughs> Indiana. <laughs> Indiana. Mm-hmm. Now that place sucks. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm saying so it's just not my speed man like i've lived in orlando i've lived in vegas i've lived in brooklyn like i like that daytona i like those places that type of place better than this type of place that's all i feel you i lose it <laughs> if i lived in florida man bro it's so hot and people are so dumb that's how i was in la too like <laughs> You be going to these places and you think like, man, it's just gonna be so gorgeous and beautiful, and it's just be like, 
I almost oh. got robbed in Orlando. <laughs> I don't know, but I like the I like the city. I like Orlando. A little a little sticky though. A little Maybe. sticky. It was literally built on a swamp. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. I like Detroit better than I like most cities. That I've are... never been. We gotta do this. Really? Never ever? Right over the bridge? No, I've never been to Detroit. I don't know. I've oh, been I've, all right. I've, well. I've been all over all over uh, California, Florida, but I've never been to Detroit. I haven't been. God, last time I was in Detroit was two thousand nine. So oh, yeah, it was popping back then too. Yeah, I mean, depends on who you talk to, but. I, people, people, you know, people have always, shit, you know, this people have always shit on Detroit, and it's not completely deserved. Yeah, Detroit code, though. You just got to know the right places to go. Like we got. I was gonna people. say the, the things I heard about about Detroit are like I don't know. You should be fucking locking your doors and making sure you got gas and not stop, not stop in <laughs> Detroit. That's what I, you know what I mean. I mean, that's yeah, not yeah. wrong, but that's not all Detroit. And plus, that's any. I mean, that could be Benton Harbor. That could be Gary. Like that's not just Detroit. People are just pussies. Well, oh. I'm sure they're exaggerating the shit, but now that I know times, I would love to fucking go to Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I'll tell you like this. You touch down, bro. You got the VIP treatment, bro. Like security, everything, my dog. <laughs> oh, bro, thank you. Hopefully we don't need no fucking security, but I'd love to, to see the city, you know what I mean? Bro, you because, better bring uh, the we, big guns for him. We, yeah. move, we move secure everywhere you go. You got to, bro. Like, yeah, I just, I, I was having a, I was yeah, having a beer. <laughs> shit well that's nice though but still you know what i mean it's i just like to fucking see and see detroit the real detroit you know what i mean and <sighs> you definitely show me the real detroit you know what i mean i'd love to see an event and all that but i was just saying i've been to orlando right and we were having a couple of 40 heinekens by the fucking by the uh orlando bus station greyhound gas station the bus station waiting for a bus and a bomb walked by and he's like Yo, guys, 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 you should not be chilling out here. And he showed to a group of people at the gas station. There was like five or six black guys. You just took, you guys should really go inside. <laughs> yeah, that shit crazy, bro. My buddy started taking his watch off and shit. You know what I mean? We gave him the 40s. We're like, here, buddy, you can have this. We're out. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. You just got to watch your surroundings, man. I just don't, don't be at no gas station at no three in the morning. Well, that's what it was, right? Yeah. Late at night and shit. Mm-hmm. I know, I know how it's what it's like back home, right? Which is very similar. That's why I was just like, we stick out like a fucking sore thumb. My buddy's six three. We're both white. You know what I mean? We're, just, <laughs> we're about to get robbed. <laughs> Wait, man, that's why I had to tell. That's why I was telling Sharon, like, bro, like, person to just do something to you just to get famous off you out here, like, with mm-hmm. that type of town. You feel me? Like, but we know how to move around here. You feel me? Oh, Gali yeah, told us, yeah, it's fucking. That's what I'm saying. I'm excited. I can't believe all this Corona shit's happening with the with the GP and everything. Everything could have been so much bigger. <laughs> Man, could you imagine if we had crowds and all that? That should. That's oh, what I'm saying. You imagine when you pulled out that 50k. If that was uh, I, last time we had you on, actually, it was like, yeah, it's a smaller room. It's in Detroit. There's no audience. It's probably the safest time to do it. But in all seriousness, like nothing would have happened. Pretty much no matter where it was, right? It's it's not like this is some like Bush League bullshit battle rap, right? So imagine if you would have pulled that out in a room of 800, 1200 fucking people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, a, blown like up, a blackout yeah. type crowd or a mass type crowd. Oh my fucking God. The roof would have tore off that bitch. Yeah, man. And that's why I really feel like, you know what I'm saying? I've been so humble because technically I still haven't hit that main stage. You feel me? I still ain't battled in front of them them big crowds and that and that and that shit matter like i'm more in my comfort zone now the way that the tables had turned you feel mm. me yeah you think you think that it will be something you'll have to adjust to once uh yeah. everything yeah. opens back up yeah it's definitely gonna be something i gotta adjust to because you got battle you got fans that that's gonna bank on that battle rapper just because they like it like we was yeah. talking about that with k-shine and uh pat that, stay bro pat yep. stay would have had a crowd bro all that stuff he was doing, that shit, but they would have been dying. Mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. And like, is that the one with the fake decorations and shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. Roger Rabbit shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was out of place in that for mm-hmm. sure. And yeah, uh, they would they clowned him here, but if he would have had that crowd, man, they would have been banking on every move. Bro. Yep. Yeah. But it just tells you that Pat's got something to learn, right? He wasn't ready for that. In terms of the crowd, right? There was no reaction, so it was it looked corny without the crowd. I'm sure if now he would have done it again, it would have been hurt, different, bro. 
Like that shit really hurt, bro. <laughs> Especially in them small rooms. When you say that one shit and you thought it was about to be that and you get crickets, bro, that shit hurt, bro. <laughs> yeah, that does that throw hurt, you bro. off? Yeah, like my first line, like uh I said one line and when I was battling Marv, like right in the beginning, that I thought I was gonna at least get a snuckle, a laugh out of. Then I'm like, oh shit. So it was like dry spot, dry spot. And then that's when I came with the, you know, the uh, LA Times bar. And I was like, okay, be day, day up now. Nah, like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's you Do you juggle bars according to the reaction or do you stick to the script the way you wrote it? I juggle rounds. I honestly juggle rounds. I did that again. Rounds, bars. yes, but I mean within a round. Do you do you change the structure of a round or do you throw some bars that weren't in there? Or do you stick to the script the way you wrote the round? I mean, oh, yeah, like if I see some shit, like, you know, if I see you do some shit while we in the building or something happened that I can relate or somebody else do something, I'm throwing that shit in there ASAP. That's I'm nice. doing that shit ASAP. Like, but I remember you- uh, my glove up, a uh, human, he threw up. He threw mm-hmm. up in the uh, middle of his round. I instantly ran outside, put the bar together and hit snow with the punch you so hard. The way he threw up was unhuman, man. That shit killed the game, like. Yeah, I, I get on that type of time fast. Nice. So, but but when like Kelly was saying, when uh, when you didn't get the reaction you wanted from that bar, does that throw you off? It it, it just make you you know it just make you cringe. It make me cringe a little. Like mm-hmm. damn, you know what I'm saying that that wasn't that wasn't makes you lose a, a little bit of self confidence a little bit there it, because you're like eh. yeah, it's like telling a joke that doesn't go over. You're expecting everyone to laugh, right? And it's just like, I'm not saying it's necessarily the punch is going to be a joke, but it's kind of like, here, I got the funniest joke for you. You tell it, and the three or four people you're telling it to are just like, but that's uh, how I, I, that's why I write with people around, not like people that not in the battle rap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like people who not necessarily battle rappers, I write around like cousins and stuff. So when I say something to them, like they be like, yeah, that shit was cold. Or if they say, yeah, it was all right. I really know it's whack. You feel me? <laughs> they're not even battle rappers. You feel me? They're not even battle rappers. And if they don't like it, or if they do like it, I know it's different. I try to, I try to show like, uh, I try to show verses before I actually lay them down and record it too. So like people like my mom or a friend that doesn't listen to hip hop or some shit, you know what I mean? To see if they understand it because you know, I try, try, try to get it understandable to an average person, right? Because you start writing some shit down that only you and your homeboys understand. It's not going to, you know, if you like that shit too much, bro, I was, it's, it's trash, bro. If you just like this, the shit is trash. Trust me, bro. <laughs> Trust me, bro. We not our best critics, bro. For real. We not our best. I don't wrote rounds. Oh, by trust myself. me, I pick I pick on my shit harder than I don't think anybody can. Yeah, man, like that shit. But that's crazy. the way to grow, right? Yeah, you got to, man. Then you got to take that criticism, like like I told y'all. Like my Amy said that about me rapping too fast. I ain't look at it no bad way. I'm like, damn, shit. She even recognizing that shit, hype me up. You feel me? Like, damn. Nobody never told me that. You feel me? Like everybody just <laughs> keep doing nigga do you just rap, you just rap. We love it, we love it, we love it. But she was the first person to be like, it's all right. But if you slow down, <laughs> you know what and, I mean? and and if you watch my last couple of battles, like I've literally found my, my move. You feel me? Like my battle in Feb- February, my battle Sunday, man, like my pacing and it's still what it is, but I really found that move now. You feel me? And, and I couldn't have did that without sis. So, Amy, thank you for that. Okay. And that's 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 a sign of a smart individual to be able to take criticism and grow from it instead yeah. of being like, oh, fuck that, I'm better than that. Yeah, yes. man. I could have been like, man, forget what you're saying. You feel me? But let's, let's take it back now that you brought it up, Times. The recap we did after your battle with Marv, we had you on before that battle. Amy brought that up. You slowed it down against Marv and lost that battle. We did the recap <laughs> after the event. And the first thing I said, time's lost because of you, Amy. You brought it up. He fucking, he, <laughs> and that's obviously, that's not the whole truth or anything, but ironically, that's the way it worked out. So times you have someone to blame for that one. It's, it's Amy. Hey, man, I honestly don't blame nobody, but, you know, the judges, man, like, it's, I, I moved past it. Of course, I honestly didn't feel like I lost that battle due mm-hmm. to that it was supposed to be on a judge on a scoring system mm-hmm. where chokes and stumbles counted, and I had none. Like, that shit kind of blew me, but I just threw that shit in the rear view, bro. Ain't nobody tripping on that. Mm-hmm. 
Are, are the uh, the run the fade battles judged? Yep. Yep. Okay. That's true. Now, some of the uh, battlers we've talked to, they would prefer the judges be people who are knowledgeable but not battlers. Other people want it the other way because, and I understand both ways. They 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 want someone who knows what it's like to be in that ring, someone who's done what they've done. I'm For you, that they shouldn't be active. Man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so so that would that's would be your your uh, like uh, I don't know I don't want to say criteria or preference, but like yeah yeah like if they're if they are someone who has the experience, they shouldn't be active, and it shouldn't even be like uh, oh I haven't battled I have in ten months. I have nameless. The <laughs> yes, the one man judging crew is nameless. End of story. Discussion <laughs> yeah, over. Man. Everybody's happy. But you got a thing, man. I was just trolling math right before he was judging my battle. If I would have oh. known he was judging my battle, I wouldn't been getting on his bad side. Like, you, know, <laughs> you don't know what people do, man. So like, I feel like you know, if, if you're gonna use a battle rapper, man, just just pick a legend that's that's really not active. You know what I'm saying? That that ain't gonna look at it no other way. As far as the other people, I think it should be like you said, you know, the, you know, bloggers or shit, other league owners, shit. I would like to get judged by Smack, ARP, and Organic. That should be fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> other Holy league shit. owners or anything, like. And when I said, you know, they had ARP helping. You feel me? Like that shit crazy. It's a time thing, though, right? Judges have to prove themselves, no matter who they are, right? Like you have to, mm-hmm. because. Um, they can't always be perfect, right? But with time, it shows who's who's just randomly judging or who's favoring people who are, or who's actually fucking doing it. it right. There has to be time with judges are consistently repeated. You know what I mean? And then you pick out the best ones. I've seen this shit happen in, in Russian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's what KOT is trying to do. I think that's what they were trying to do with the Grand Prix. That's why they were switching it up and trying different formats, whether it be all in the building, all out of the building, some in the building, some out of the building. Uh, I think that's really what they're trying to do is uh, narrow it down for the best system because without a criteria, Amy, fuck, we've said it many times, it's the same as uh, MMA, right? You, UFC judging criteria, there isn't one. So if you've got, a, if you've got three judges, they're all credible judges, they all understand all aspects of MMA, but one guy, is a, he comes from Muay Thai. I think I comes from Jiu-Jitsu. I think I comes from wrestling. No matter what, they're going to be a little inclined to, to the wrestling or the, or the Muay Thai or the jiu-jitsu or whatever it may be until there's an actual criteria there. And uh, it, it's, it's such a difficult thing to get to the right judges in battle rap right now. Even though guys do a great job, it's just where there's no criteria, it comes down to opinion. Yeah. So no more Ben Swayze is what you're saying. <laughs> I don't know about opinion. That's not the issue. Oh, sorry. The, Oh, I thought. Sorry, Amy. I thought you were gonna go on. No, that was. It was that was. That was it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's the tweet. Op- opinion is one thing. This should just sort of say, and I, I, I have a pretty good idea of how it's been done. And it's no matter what of your opinion, you get some of that. Yes, but the, like the flow criteria and the rhymes criteria should be given out of so much, right? And then the middle number should work out. Well, like a point system. Yeah. Out of ten, out of five, whatever it is, right? And you find the middle number. Average number. That's what I was told the Grand Prix was based on. Like a it's, it's, that's the only way to do it. How else are you and, gonna do it? And, and then with, with, that with time, it will show with judges will are actually credible, are actually judging. You know what I mean? It'll do, but it takes time. Yeah. If do you have a uh, an idea at all times for what a judging criteria should be? Or, I mean, you're not a judge, so fuck that. You don't pay any attention to it. I mean, look, if you're gonna be running <laughs> events, I think you should have a handle on what you think about this. Yeah, I mean, I do, I do, like, like. <laughs> oh, bro, do I have an idea for you? <laughs> Later on, we'll talk. Go, go ahead, times. Yeah, man, like, I, I agree with what y'all are saying, but it's, it it'll be so hard to enforce that shit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And and to make up every single rule, like, we don't really have to have a battle rap rule book. You feel me? Like that shit, <laughs> it, it's just really too much to do like is it's kind of like that shit really take it away from what it is like let's be honest like we know who won battles bro like yeah public opinion usually tells <laughs> yeah like but that we, takes time too right because but it has to be out it has to be watched and public has to voice it and the judges do it right and have you like how many times do you do you think in your personal experience have you seen a battle live and then seen it 
seen the record of it, right? Seen the video of it and changed your opinion on it. Uh, it's been a lot. Like that's that is true. It, it has happened. It, it's happened with my battle. You feel me? Like I don't have battles were in the building. I thought I was actually going crazy, and then watching on cam and it was like, well, it ain't really hit that hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I I think it's too much. And honestly, see, man, I, I've been saying that battles should be judged. Judges should be given like a couple of days. But That'd people are, people like, are saying it should be judged day. on spot too, right? There's so much cultural the drugs behind it. But then if you look deeper into culture, two people used to freestyle and judge on spot. Yeah, now man, it's all written. True. So why is it judged it's on spot? From what it used to be, man, like it used to just rap. That's mm-hmm. what it's, it's rap, bro. Like, but it was rap. off top of the head a lot, right? Yeah, and it was like, it, yeah. and it was judged on the spot. But now that the person put in like weeks of work into these lyrics, you can't take that apart and whatever the fuck you hear it right there. It's not a freestyle anymore. It's a complex built lyric. Yeah, so yeah. I think it should take time to pick that apart for any judge. When you judge it on the spot, uh, a lot of emotion and a lot of uh, feel I, of the room I comes in. If they do that, they should come with just a lead just for that. Because you do got artists like that. Like, I'm just spitting shit out. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, it you know what you, I mean? It'll take you a minute to break down some rappers' rounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, definitely. Days, you know what I'm saying? Daylight rounds, shit like that. Like, it's so much shit inside them rounds. So that shit do matter, bro. But I just feel like it takes away from what we use, what it's for, bro. We came to rap. Mm-hmm. This shit's so commercial now. Like, it, it it's crazy, bro. Like, these, they battle in the movie sets, fucking all type of crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we used to just pull up in a dirty building and rap. But it has to elevate for people to make money. I understand that, bro. I definitely understand that. But I'm not in them. I'm not in that run. You feel mm-hmm. me? We only got three top battle rap leagues, and I don't think nobody gonna slide past any one of them. <laughs> no <laughs> bro. So that shit ain't my fight. You feel me? That shit ain't my fight. That's why we keep our our shit like we got it, bro. We have battles every Sunday, Alpha Arena, just mm-hmm. for people to just come. And get that shit off. You can't get booked because it's so much pandemic stuff. So we can't travel. All right. You got some rounds. Pull up Sunday. We give away money. Hundred dollars. Best round. One round. Hundred dollars. You know Not sure. Saying? How many how many people do you how many contenders do you have come through on an average? Uh we book uh on those on the Alpha Arena events, you know, we book uh at least three battles every Sunday mixed in with performances. So you but, keep the culture alive. You keep it pumping. That's good, man. That's awesome. Yeah, but we got a crazy event coming up. Uh, we got a whole 420 weekend coming up. Yeah, uh, I saw that. That shit's about to be fucking ridiculous, bro. Like, I'm talking about we are, we're going to have at least three, 400 people. Holy oh, shit. shit. Yeah, live vendors, we vendors. Uh giving a uh ounce giveaways away all type of stuff bro. and is this something you leading you organizing no just my team everything a team with times bro but it's yeah like, but i mean like it's this is your thing this is your team's thing right yeah 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 this is all game that's yep. crazy bro uh, it's yeah, nice the building collective we got the uh the um april april sock hot for the kids we uh giving back to the community all type of school supplies free bounce houses food all type of stuff, man. Make like, sure you fucking make video content for all that shit and put all that out because that's a very good look. Giving back to community, getting all these people together, making moves. That's great, bro. Yeah, I videotape the fuck the out of all that. Though, bro, like, we, 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 we have homeless drives, food drives. Like, that's how we keep getting our blessings, bro. Like, for real. Yeah, man. That's good things. Get attention for it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Keep growing. Mm-hmm. Where do you learn that from? That's not something that you just picked up last week, obviously. Hell no, it's just about it's just about needing that shit. Like growing up needing that shit yourself, bro. Like we ain't had no like you look at all the drug dealers that was around, they weren't pulling up giving back no book bags. Not saying that's what we do or nothing, but like mm-hmm. we, we made our way and made what we can do. We started trying to give back. You feel me? Like we ain't have people doing that for us, so we see how messed up it is out here. You gotta gotta get that shit back to the little homie. And when you go, you know, you and your team make a move like that that's for the community you don't want to come off as uh, gaining attention for yourself so you know as you're organizing these events it's, it sounds like you've you know you've been doing it for a while but when you're first starting to do it do you reach out to some of the people like you you mentioned you know a lot of these drug dealers and it's not in the past they didn't give back but obviously there are some people that did whether they be entertainers or whatever their hustle may be 
Uh, was there a point when you reached out to them, like, yo, how do I do this without making it be about me? Because that's a tricky no, spot to be about, in. Yeah, I understand. I definitely understand. But, like, everybody with me had a good heart. We didn't have to really go ask for nobody. Like, you know what I'm saying? With our, with us and our families alone, everybody donated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, you know, a couple of static is like, like, Trick Trick donated before. You know what I'm saying? He, he gave us $1,000 for us to home. You feel me? Like, just seeing our presence and see how we move in the streets. People gravitate towards that, bro. So once they come to you and see, like, damn, there's a group of people, they all together, they all for one, but damn, they not on no bullshit. They not on no negative shit. Like, they doing this, they doing that. They gonna want to be a part of that, too. So yeah, they just see it. On, yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. They want to jump on the bandwagon just to make them look good. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, Amy, how many random questions do you have today? I don't have any, man. I'm off my game. 413? I don't mm -hmm. have any. Come on, T times you you start asking her questions. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Well, I was gonna see if you'd slip a little and tell us what King of the Dots got coming up, since they want to talk about all the announcements they're not gonna make. Man, shit! I wish I could know too. I'm still trying to get one of my battles from the Grand Prix to drop. Oh, <laughs> for real, man! I, I'm ready for them to start releasing that content, man. That's crazy. What do you, which one would you like to drop first out of the Grand Prix that you were in? The most questionable one for sure. It gotta be me. Uh, <laughs> it gotta be, man. I like, I really like, I've watched that battle multiple times, bro. And at the end of the day, bro, I, I, I understand what people was talking about, but every time it come out with the same outcome, bro. Oh, God. And who would that be? You haven't said the name yet. Oh, I'm not going to assume. Of course. I mean, it's me, of course. Every time I watch you, you know what I'm saying? It come out with music. <laughs> the same thing that they said made me lose, Saint did the exact same thing, you feel me? And smoked his boot. So, you think Saint won that battle? He definitely won that battle. I think so, too. But yeah, I came out jokes. He came out jokes first round. He had an epic round. I had an epic round. Then he had a mediocre round, and I had a mediocre round. But the same way they said, you know, a couple of haymakers swayed the judges this way. I guess a couple of haymakers swayed the judges that way. You feel me? Mm. And do you think with, uh, like you said, you know, you, you're saying something about someone and then all of a sudden they're judging one of your battles. Yeah, that, yeah, you know. <laughs> that's, uh, you know, that that's an issue right there. But also you mentioned, you know, you get a, a legend. I guess that is still an active legend. But even an inactive legend from like where you're from or somewhere else is from, do you think they're still going to be, uh, you know, they, they're going to sway towards that hometown kid, even though they've been inactive for however long it may be? Could that still be a problem in your eyes, even though they're not active? I mean, it could, bro, but that's just how people not being genuine, bro. Like I said, man, you know who the one, bro. If I lose a battle, bro, I'm going to tell you I got smoke, bro. You feel me? I'm not about to be... No, I, I won. I won a second. I won it. No, bro. You lost. And I feel people really be knowing that, but it's about who you ride with. Shit, I, I lie for my dog right now. Shit, mm -hmm. telling me won all day. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, bro. It's just like, it's just people, bro. You can't, you can't change people, bro. Like, that shit crazy, though. But you can sway them. And that's really what, what the art is about. Swaying people to your side, bro. Mm -hmm. So April 10th, Snake Eyes, um, obviously, you know, you, you got no beef with them, but what's going to happen? I got some beef with them, though. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Look, well, are we going to get to hear about it? I got the best I am battle rap, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say oh, something, and I was like, I don't know if I'm allowed to. <laughs> I got the best I am battle rap, man. You got me fucked up, man. <laughs> I'm dead. No, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't no, no smoke, man. He called me out, man. This is just some real man stuff. You feel me? He called me out. I responded. We took it to to what it is. We didn't have to get on the internet and get to disrespecting each other. None of that. I ain't promo. He ain't said nothing about it. I ain't said nothing about it. We gonna have her talk when we see each other. Are they doing? Are, do you know if they're doing face offs like they did for tournament, or is there gonna be nothing like that there? I'm pretty sure they will. They will, yeah. Who want to see that shit, though? Honestly, I, I don't get it. 
<laughs> Y'all ain't gonna even see what we looking at. No. <laughs> I was just gonna say, you're gonna tell him to look you in his, in your, you look yeah. me in my eye. <laughs> yeah, I ain't coming to no eye jokes though, man. I ain't, I ain't coming to no eye jokes. Man. I'm coming straight smoke, bro. You feel me? Like I think that's the most cliche thing that everybody expects. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Even Amy said last time I we had you say, on. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Amy. No, I was just gonna say that. Like, there's. There's those, I mean, I don't think there's a problem with anybody doing it, but you got to come with somebody nobody has ever heard before, and that's extremely difficult. So it's just mm. not worth doing. Yeah, man, that shit ain't going to work, man. You don't have to, you know, steak eyes dope, man. You're going to you gonna have to stand on that shit, though. You're going to have to stand on it. I mean, but if there's going to be somebody come up with some shit nobody else said, it probably will be him. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Are you gonna have anything for him? Like I said, man, I ain't I ain't really banking on no no eye jokes, man. Like I'm just coming to rap, bro. I'm coming to rap, get this shit off, celebrate, pop a couple bottles. You know what I'm saying? You do pop a lot of bottles. I see your photos. You always got a fucking bottle in your hand and a different one. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Hell yeah. I'm I'm yeah, man. I just had a, a crazy week, man. Yeah, I see you in the liquor sales too now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Late night liquor sales. I should do, do can you get booze 24 hours in Detroit? Hell no. Like I'm like sure. legally? They stop at uh, you know, they they legally stop around uh 12 o'clock, but you know, that's what? when the after hour sales come in. <laughs> Wait, what? No, but it was not like that before COVID. Yeah, not before COVID. They were at two o'clock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah man. All right, Times. Anything else that uh, we're missing? You need to get in here. Any of the things you got coming on the, the pipeline as far as music or any of the other thousand endeavors you're uh, involved in? Uh, anything else you need to plug before you let you go? Hell yeah, man. Um, I got that. Rex World Tapes, that shit dropping April the 7th, man. I'll be ready. I'm dropping that shit uh, dedicated to my little brother who we lost a year ago. So shit about to be wild. You know, it's going to be a real vibe. And I got the Sideshow Times tape coming right after that. And I'm coming. Nobody talking like this too after that. So y'all going to see a lot more of me, bro. I got some crazy shit in the works with the dot. I got some crazy shit with my league, Alpha and Entertainment, man. So this shit about to be another good year for us, man. Oh, good. I'm looking forward to it. I am looking the forward to it. The man has not slept once since we talked to him last. I don't man, think so. You know what, Amy? I just started going to the doctor for this shit. Like, <laughs> this shit crazy. Like, it's like three hours of sleep a day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Yeah, you got to do something about that. I used to be that way back in the past. Barely yeah. any sleep. So, or then I'd you have were in like... the hospital like every six hours. Yeah. So fucking talk to time. Yeah, man. If you barely sleep, it, it catches up to you. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, man. Like that shit, wicked, bro. Like it's not a, it's not, it's not by choice, and it's not cool, bro. Like that shit mm-hmm. ain't healthy. So, had to get that shit right. But it's just about trying to chase that dream, bro. Mm-hmm. But that's exactly it, man. Chasing that dollar, you can burn yourself the fuck out. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Fuck that, man. Hell Do it. Do get it. it. <laughs> yeah, I, I sleep when I die, baby. My whole family will be up. Life insurance. Just gotta is stay because up. of the death. I'm trying to take care of my health now, you know what I mean? But fuck sleep, man. I'm going all the way too, man. I'm doing everything I can. Fuck it. Yeah, you yeah, go to exactly. bed at like 7.30 almost every night unless we're doing a show. No. <laughs> I try to get my 11 to 6, something like that. Yeah, man. You got to, bro. You got to take care of yourself. I quit drinking a while ago, so there's nothing much for me to do. I smoke weed and I pass up. Nighttime, anyways, you know what I mean? After my major fucking moves taking over the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, bro, thanks for coming through. That was good times. Yes, yes. Hey, man, all the time, man. Like I told y'all, I, I rock with y'all the long way, man. Anything y'all need me to help y'all with, just tap in, man. I'm sure we'll talk more, bro. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. All right, for times, Amy Barton. Krill Kasatsky, I'm Jay Kelly. This is Building Downtown. We out. Peace. Building Downtown. Building Downtown. Building Downtown. Building Downtown.